What is up, YouTube? How you guys doing? I'm gonna uh, try to flint nap something today. I got some uh, interesting rock here. I got this stuff that does not look so good. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to make today. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make a uh, quick knife blade and maybe a, a smaller hunting point, spear point. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know how this uh, New England rock is. It's kind of finicky. Okay, so let's set this here. We're going to try this piece first. I'm going to try to make a spear point out of that. See how it goes. It's usual grind the edges so that you can see what's going on. All right, so not really an instructional video here, but just gonna whittle some rock. See what kind of tools I could come up with. One of the things I wanted to show, people keep asking me how to thin stuff. <clears throat> when you get a platform like that, or a spot like that, what you wanna do, Hold it tight. Support the bottom. And you take your bobber. I'll see if I can do this on camera right here so I can just show you. Hold tight. Oop. Well, you see how far that went. And you could keep doing that. I mean, you might want to flatten that up a little bit, grind it some more. Like that. There we go. Oh, I overdid it. You ready? <laughs> so that thinned it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do a spear point from this, I think. That looks like a spear point to me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make a spear point. Let's just wing it here and see what happens. All right. straight across. See that? <clears throat> and you uh, you make that happen by watching your angle. You hold the platform that you want to smack on. Like, there's a line right here. Hold that tight, and you got to experiment with your angles. I'll try to do that again. Went to about there. All right. All right. Yeah, this is a good piece of rock. I don't have to be so uh, heavy handed with this one. Pretty cool. So, I have this by face, and I'm just going to very quickly, uh, for this one, just very quickly try to make a spear point, and then I'm going to try on the bigger piece to make a knife. 
and we'll see how it goes. So I think maybe I'll make a Dalton or maybe a fluted point, maybe. Seems like some pretty good fluting material. And I'm accomplishing this just by hitting with that. not doing any extensive uh, platform preparation or anything like that just taking a kind of opportunistic flakes kind of ooh <laughs> alright let's see if we can fix that Yeah, this is actually some pretty high quality stuff here. This is pretty cool. It's uh, actually super glass-like. Look at that. I think I cut myself too. All right. <clears throat> Gonna hit this edge, try to thin it a little bit. Cool, that worked. It's always uh, super risky to try to even send a thinning flake from the base up. I think I'm gonna try that in a minute. So I'm going to try to shoot a flake right up here. Right there. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. I'm used to doing this on super tough rock. So I'm used to doing this on super tough rock. So I don't know how this is going to go. This is like really, uh, really glassy. We'll see. All right. So again, pinching tight, in and down. Don't know, I don't know yet, looks good. Yeah, that's good. That worked. All right. One more. Eh, one more. Fairly thin now. Getting there. If you guys would like to see me um, really take my time with one of these pieces and uh really prepare each platform and uh, really go through how I actually do it. Uh, let me know. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, I've just been kind of speed napping in the past few napping videos that I've done. So let me know if you'd like to see a more detailed, more detailed rundown of everything.
I actually ordered a uh, cast, an epoxy cast of an artifact from uh, Massachusetts that's uh, like 12,000 years old. And I've been trying to mess around with uh, replicating it. And I haven't had uh, <clears throat> too much success because the point uh, in question was there was a lot of pressure flaking like that. And I can't do too much of that because of my shoulder. So I've been uh, I've been messing with the indirect again, but I can't uh, I can't really make that flaking pattern. And I'm gonna um, actually right here put in a picture of the artifact I'm talking about. I'll show you guys what I mean. All right. Yeah, this is some pretty nice stone. Wow. All right. I am not used to such high quality stone. I'm just tapping it and it's uh it's working. I don't have to boom, wail on it like I usually do. Wow. Yeah, it's really really working. I like this stuff. I know exactly where I got this stuff. Cool. All right. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go too thin yet. I'm going to switch to a smaller bobber. Bobber? Bobber? take my time with this part because once it gets thin like this, high chance of breaking it if you're rushing. This part you do not want to rush. Whew. So I've just been a uh, Relaxing and playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation. Actually, haven't really even been doing all that much napping. Just trying to give myself a little bit of a break and heal up my injuries and all that fun stuff. Took the tip off there. See how thick that is? Also been trying to get some uh, river cane for my uh, longbow, so I can make some arrows. I've been using um, the compound with with flint points on the compound arrows, but I would like to get back into uh, primitive hunting as soon as possible. All right, so we're gonna try to thin the base again. See how I made it? I don't know if you could see, there you go. How this side is higher. And now it's lower. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit in and down into that. But you gotta grind the hell out of it. Again, we'll try to do a close-up for you. Hold tight. You can see there's pretty good ridge there. This is a little screwy, so it might mess up, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And boom. Let's see. Whew, missing. There we go. Ha, <laughs> And that is how you do that. Nice. Saving this. So since I fluted that, 
I'm going to just finish shaping it up, and that is a usable spear point. I just got to sharpen it, thin it a little bit more. I am impressed with this rock. Just sharpen the tip. All right, let me back up. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the rest uh, indirect under the leg. Let's see if I back up here. In the camera down a little bit. Use a moose antler and just sharpen this up, finish up the shape here. I'm so happy with that flute. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish up shaping this and that is it because this is such high quality rock that uh, I'm afraid to mess with it too much. That is really nice. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. You know what? I'm actually going to try to pressure flake this. Let's see how that goes. Now what I have here is a caribou antler glued into an elk antler. And I'm just going to run some quick passes over this and call it finished. Same thing, in and down, and you're popping off little tiny flakes like that. And for this, you're just sharpening and doing final shaping here. So if you look what I'm doing, just shaping it to a tip and sharpening it. I'm going to call this a speed clovis or a speed fluted point. It's not necessarily a clovis in the uh, northeast here. They just call them fluted points. I mean, there's other names to them. I don't know how to pronounce them. Like uh, this one called the Mashad Naponzit point. I'll do a little bit more on this. I just want to shape it right. You guys ever get this? Where you do something awesome like that and then you're afraid to touch it anymore? All right. Still a bit hard for me to pressure flake, unfortunately. I thought it would be a little easier on this rock. It's not. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna call that finished. There's one spot that's annoying me. I think I'll try to fix that. 
it's just this one little bump right there. Let's see if we can fix it. Well, that didn't really fix. Sometimes I've learned uh, when you get a spot like that that doesn't want to cooperate. Sometimes, if you have something that looks this nice, you're better off just leaving it alone. Because if you mess with that more, you could lose the whole tip. I don't want to lose the tip. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm not, I'm not messing with that anymore. That sucks, though. Ah, oh, man, should I? <sighs> okay. okay, okay. I can't leave that. Oh, man. I shouldn't be trying this. Indirect. See if we could get rid of that little bump. Please don't break. Got it. See that? Better. Better, better, better. Much. Okay, one more flake and then this is done. Final flake. All right, so 23 minutes. Pretty good fluted point there. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Use this as my thumbnail. <laughs> Use this, use the indirect, and the bopper. And that's it. Look at that flute. Look at that. It's way easier to do this on a higher quality rock. If you have a rock with the flaws in it, the flaws are gonna stop it from traveling. But yeah, I am, I am super impressed with this rock. Um, I actually collected this rock in one of my other videos I collected it from a creek, creek side. Uh, actually, Leah found it and threw it at me. Pretty thin. Oh, don't drop it. Pretty thin. Still a little curved here, but that's not, that's not too bad. It's just right here. Like, that wouldn't affect use at all. All right, so... I don't think I'm going to do much more because the pressure flaking, uh, the pressure flaking did hurt my shoulder a little bit. So I'm going to call this video here. It's about half an hour. Hope you guys have a good New Year's. That was a rough one there. Ooh, look, 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 look above me. <laughs> Got it. That was a red-tailed hawk just flew right above me here right by the woods <laughs> that was cool i'm glad i caught that so anyway um what was i saying yeah rough rough year this year I'm sure for everybody but uh soon enough go back out on the road and try to collect more flint That is amazing. I do indeed love this point. I might put it on a necklace. I don't know. So I hope you guys are all well. Um, right. So I wanted to thank my Patreons, uh, David and Josh, for helping me out here for 
the money you contribute will help in finding new flint sources. And as you can see, this stuff is this stuff is high quality. Like this is really nice stuff. Yeah, this is the piece Leah found. I've made quite a few knives from it already. I was knocked out for a few months here and uh, starting to feel a little better again. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to get back out on the road soon to do more identification videos and travel to find flint sources. But uh, like I said, I've mostly been stuck inside playing Red Dead. Not that that's not fun, it's fun as heck. But uh, okay, I'll stop rambling. All right guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching me make that awesome thing. And uh, I hope you guys can actually learn a little bit from these quick videos that I do with the, you know, the speed napping. Hope you could see what I do. Let me know if you can. Um, I do offer more detailed stuff on Patreon. I do a lot of uh, tips and tricks on Patreon, uh, as well as uh, some on my Instagram. I am happy with what I made. Look at that, man. I could have shot some pressure flakes further along here, but I'm happy with that flute. I got a mini one on the other side. It's all good. What is up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Back from my little rock collecting trip. Just got home yesterday. And uh, I'm gonna try working on one of these. See what I could come up with. A little creek cobble. So this is some of what Leah found down there and threw up on the, the trail for me Let's here. This one just real quick. See what it is, see what it looks like. Good flint. So let's set that up. All right. So in my last video, I collected this out of one of the creeks. I'm gonna see if I could make a little spear point out of it. Uh, this might be a little difficult, but we'll give it a try. If I fail, I'll still upload the video and you guys can see what I did wrong or right, depending. It's kind of thick and blocky. There's a lot of crud in there. So I think I'm going to start on this edge here and see if I can set up more platforms all the way around. Let's see. Nice blade. Continue on. I took this piece off. I'm going to hit here next and try to take off this edge. Looks like it worked. Blew the back off. And overshot. Nice big flake. Save all of those. Now you can see what I did there. I took almost one whole side off. So now I'm going to try working on the other side. Some damage in this piece. See if we could get around it. Hmm. That's quite a bit of damage there. And I got rid of the damage. All right. So I think, okay. So since the side, the face up here is way smaller, I'm gonna try to take off all this and I'm gonna try to save this. So what I'm saying is, instead of hitting on here and shaving this down and down and down up to this edge, I'm gonna try to shave this down and down and down so that 
I'm left with a, a bigger spear point rather than a smaller spear point. Do you get what I mean? So, I'll try from right here, right there. Let's back up. I did another overshot here. I hit right here and I blew the whole piece off like that. There's some damage in here, that seam, that's gonna be a problem. All right. Just got to be really careful with what you're trying to shape here and be aware that in these creek rocks you're gonna have damage it's another seam right there let's see if I could get anything at all out of this anything that I would use Try my best here, I don't know. I don't know. If uh, all else fails, I work on one of those flakes. Nice. Nice. All right, just whittling my way down here. So I think I'm gonna make a little um, corner notch point. If the rock will allow me, there's still a lot of crazy fractures in there and I'll work my way around it. Sometimes these uh, creek rocks really test your ability here. Oh, I could just tie that right on a stick. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so once you get an idea of your shape, it starts to move a lot quicker. You can thin it down. Just avoid these damages, man. Um, Unfortunately, a lot of these that I found in the snow are freeze cracked and have seams, seams in them. So they're going to be harder to work, but I will do what I can on this piece. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit now. You guys get the basic idea of what I'm doing. Try to get rid of some of the damage and thin it more as I go along. Take this corner off like that. Then you have a spot to hit there. On the wires. Grind down. Thin that. Then that, 
damage in there still. We might be able to we might be able to fix that. Let's say right here. Right there. Still there. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is go up to the what I'm gonna make make the tip. So the tip of my point is here, I decided. So I'm gonna shave that down a little bit. Grind it. Got rid of some of it. All right. So now, I'm just gonna try to thin it, get it to where I need to be. Now what I like to do is uh, make the corner look like that grind it and then start zigzagging when you have those seams in there so with any luck this will work goes a little bit a little bit a little bit more See what I'm doing there? Get that edge. Almost to where we need it to be. Let's speed this up a little bit. We're running low on battery. Forgot to charge it. Look what I did there. See that high point? There we go. All right, so we got a biface now. Blade blank. Make a nice little hunting point from this. As long as it don't explode, which it might. That there is damage in there. See how it's flaking weird? All right. So this is a little bit of a pain, actually. I thought this would be higher quality, and it's not. But we'll still be able to get something out of it, I think, unless I really screw up which I don't think I'm going to. But you never know. Let's see if I could just finish this up. This, you don't want to hit too hard anymore with what you have left here. I think I'm gonna switch to indirect, actually. Back up. So you can see, there's a lot of problem in this. Let's see if I could still get what I was going for. Sometimes you have to uh, change your plan. Sometimes. So this middle is really crumbly and crappy. I will do what I can. Hmm, a piece stuck in my finger there. Ouch! 
Get out of me. Alright. So I'm going to just try to do... Don't know if I want to do the corner notch or not. The flaking on this is really messed up. I really messed up on this one. Try coming in from the bottom. Got some of it. Pick it off with my fingernail. There we go. Still, this one piece of crud giving me a problem. Alright. It's going to be a thicker point. And it's not going to be as wide of a point as I wanted it to be. It's really screwed up. I don't know what is up with the... Uh, flaking on here and it's just kind of cracking see this whole part cracked and crumbled away it's one of the more difficult pieces I've had to work with here all right so we're gonna have a thin well I should say a narrow narrow point Which is okay. This will still work as long as I don't destroy the whole thing. Try not to. Sometimes that just happens. So what's actually happening is it's fracturing weird and the flakes are pretty unpredictable. Trying my best here, guys. All right. This is getting a little, a little insane. Just a little. Bring this side in a little bit more. <laughs> that is not so good. Alright, I'm going to finish it up real quick with a copper pressure flaker. But I'll show you that this will be a usable point. If I don't completely destroy it, we'll fly through this a little bit. <sighs> Shaping, flaking. Yeah, don't get discouraged if this stuff happens to you guys. You could still use it. Most of the time. A lot of people will say, they've said to me, oh, that's not nappable. Yeah, it is. Just takes a different kind of patience with this stuff and Side's thick. All right. <laughs> I'm 
Not the best. Still working on it. I'll work on it a little bit more. Reshape this tip a little bit. See what I'm doing there? This is really messed up in there, so doing what we can. Notch in a little bit more. Just a little bit, not too much. <laughs> Man, this is a haggard looking point. trying to straighten it. It's not cooperating. And I am running out of battery. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's make it a stem to point. This is not working. So I'm going to make it a little Lamoka type thing, <laughs> I guess. All right. That is that. Not so great. I did my best with limited time, 23 minutes. It's a little thick, but it'll kill. Put this on a spear, on that ladle and dart and throw it. It'll stick like this far into a tree and not break. So throw it into a deer and fix the tip just a little, make it a little sharper and I got to stop messing with it. All right, that is that, I am done. So <laughs> Creek Rock. Let's see if we can get it really, really well zoomed in there.